I still to this day, again, feel so proud about what we're standing looking at. Sometimes the hours getting here to this point are long and arduous and it's like, oh, I'm tired of this. But then this brings it all into perspective and it makes that time seem like nothing. So I take a, a lot of pride in my work and knowing that um, what I'm doing, what we're doing is, is part of protecting America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to Newport News Shipbuilding and to the christening of the Virginia-class submarine, Indiana. And the rock is wriggling, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof We thank you for all the dedicated work done by the craftsmen. Thank you for the committed team here on Indiana. And most importantly, the sacrifices given by the friends and family as we build the superior warship. This ceremony is extra special because we have a group of veterans with us today who served aboard the first Indiana BB-58, a battleship built by Newport News Shipbuilding that was commissioned 75 years ago tomorrow. Please welcome 14 former crew members of Indiana BB-58. We are pleased you could join us as we christen this 16th submarine of the Virginia class. I will tell you it's really difficult for shipbuilders to talk about their work. There are security restrictions to consider, of course, but beyond that, it's hard to describe what it's like to build one of the most complex machines in the world. For our shipbuilders who do this every day, they can even lose perspective to their contributions to our Navy and to our nation. For them, it's all part of a hard day's work, a long, hard, honest day's work. However, as you look upon this magnificent vessel, I think you'll agree it's no ordinary job. In fact, it's pretty extraordinary. Our shipbuilders define what made in America means. To all our friends from Indiana and around the country who have traveled here, to the shipbuilders who have done this incredible magic when you think it can't be done, and as I know our other Hoosiers feel the same way, we're very, very proud of this crew and boat. We feel it's a reflection of our state. We're dedicated. We look out for one another. We love our country. We are workhorses. We are not show horses. We don't look for a fight, but we really enjoy one. And we'll finish them in a pretty strong way. And these men, this crew, are going to be at the very tip of the spear. And you have given them the tools, the equipment, the ability to accomplish everything here. We are so proud of everything you are working on, of the training you will be doing, of the precision work you are focused on, and the safety you are providing to all Americans. You know, it really is deeply humbling for this son of Indiana to be here today at the christening of this mighty and majestic boat. This boat bears the name, I can promise you, of one of the most patriotic states in America. And I truly believe that she reflects the unmatchable courage and the unwavering spirit of those Hoosiers past and present who stood up and stepped forward to defend the flame of freedom. From this day forward, the spirit and the service of the Hoosier State will find a home on the seven seas, in this majestic and mighty submarine, and in the proud crew who walk her decks. When she completes her maiden voyage, the world will take note, for the USS Indiana signifies the enduring strength and leadership of the United States, a beacon of freedom in these stormy and uncertain times. It's the honor of a lifetime to be here today. I can just feel the pride and commitment of our shipbuilders, crew members, and the citizens of Indiana for their ship. Submarining is a tough business. Schedules are, shall we say, flexible for a submariner and their families. Expect the unexpected is a way of life. Submariners deploy for months at a time to who knows where, doing who knows what. I know you individually and as a team have what it takes. You represent that special breed, submariner. 
Please count me as your biggest fan. You are in my thoughts and prayers, and I'm rooting for you every day. May God bless this ship, her crew, our Navy, and the United States of America. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. I'd like to ask Diane Donald, Vice President Pence, and Commander Zimbauer to join me as we make our way to the bottle break platform. I christen the United States ship Indiana. May God bless this submarine and all who sail in her. Woo!